what is up guys welcome back to the channel new tech begins here and in this video we are going to install android 9 lineage os 16.0 onto the lg v20 as you can see here we have the lg v20 already installed the nice thing about this rom is that it has now finally this second screen integrated into the operating system so that's really nice if I scroll down slowly at the top you can see here the second screen it makes part of the whole screen and we got the notifications and other options at the right top so that is uh, a really nice improvement we go ahead and watch just the system at about the phone Android version 9 this phone has good hardware inside as you can see on the specifications here this phone was released in 2016 and 2016 has got the chipset Snapdragon 820 quad core processor 2.15 GHz and 2.1.6 GHz and the GPU is an Adreno 530 it's got also a memory slot upgradable to 512 Alright, without further ado, let's begin with the installation. First things first, first we want to go ahead and make a backup. So we want to power off the phone. We're going to restart, put the advanced options and then recovery. Wait until the recovery screen appears. Alright, once you are in the two up recovery, you want to go ahead and make a backup. Select the storage. You want to go ahead and select your micro SD card. In my case, it's this one here. Press OK and swipe to backup all right meanwhile we are going back to our computer i will put the link in the video description below where you can find all the files for the line lineage os 16.0 for lgv20 it's got still some uh, issues because this is a beta build all in all this uh, build you can use as your daily drive go ahead and download also magisk you may want to use version 18.0 which is the latest stable version which you can download right here and you may also choose between magisk or super su it's up to you choose one of those not both or magisk or suppress you so that you can root your phone the next application is the open gaps go ahead and download open gaps for arm 64 9.0 nano edition you click on here then next thing you want to do you want to go ahead and install also or download also the always on display enabler which you can find right here this requires at least uh, magisk so that you can install it directly from there you don't even need to go into the twerp you can just directly install the always on display from magisk i will show you later how to do that 
and last but not least it's always handy to have important information about your phone on how to go into the download mode how to do a factory reset uh, and go in the factory mode soft reset or hard reset that you can find right here right so now we will just wait until the backup has finished I will fast forward this all right guys so once it has finished to make the backup go ahead and download all the files put them on your SD card insert the SD card into your phone All right, so let's go back, 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 reboot, then choose for power off. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and let's power off the phone. And select restart. If you don't have the recovery option, don't worry. Just do power off, power off. Hold down volume down and press the power button and when you see the LG logo release and repress the, the power button once and keep on holding the volume down so let's do this holding down both and release the power, repress the power keep on holding the volume down until you have the screen here press the power button, go to yes, press the power button alright so once you are in the twerp go ahead and go to wipe swipe to factory reset and then you want to go ahead and go back and do an advanced swipe want to choose the first five options which are Delvic, Artcache, System, Data, Internal Storage and Cache and swipe to wipe you want to go back now we want to also format the data to be sure that this will be a clean install there we go Okay, let's go back, back, back. Now you want to go ahead and choose install. Go to your micro SD card by going to select storage. So right select it, then go to OK. You want to start with the lineage OS file, which is this one here. I have an H910. If you have a different version, then choose your specific version you download it all right let's click that let's add more zip files which is the root file we are choosing magisk 18 and then we want to go ahead and add also the open gaps 649.0 and we want to go ahead and add also the always on display Alright, and then just swipe to confirm. Just wait patiently until it finishes the install. Um, Alright guys, so once everything has been installed, let's go ahead and let's choose for reboot the system. And I'll wait patiently. Alright guys, so after the ROM has been installed, go ahead and install Magisk and activate the always on display. Let me show you how to do that. Just go to Magisk. As you can see here, we have here Magisk version 17. You may also want to um, 
download version 18 install that okay so to install the always on display module just go here tap on the menu then you want to go to modules as you can see here always on display enabler is already installed so to enable it just hit the plus then you want to go to your SD card and you want to tap on a o d e enabler always on display enabler the zip file and as you can see it will install it then you just press reboot that will reboot your phone and at that point your always on display will be installed right so once your phone is rebooted at this point you can test the always on display to see if it works just power off the system and as you can see here we got the time double tap all right also do not forget to install the pixel launcher which is this pixel launcher right here with the news and at the, the bottom the google search bar the Google Assistant that concludes this video for today I hope it was helpful for you please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video for now I wish you a wonderful day and adios